So I am checking out this beautiful coral bean. Guys, check out those awesome red flowers on this plant. Now coral bean, as you might suspect from the name, is in the pea family. The flowers don't look exactly like you would think of as a typical pea. And actually what happens with them is there are five petals like a typical pea flower, but four of them are super, super tiny. And then the one that's long sort of wraps around all of them. Now these flowers generally appear as the plant is leafing out and the plant seems to leaf out later in the season than many others. These red tubular flowers are absolutely loved by hummingbirds. I've seen a lot of hummingbirds visit these plants. If you check out the leaves, they are compound leaves, so three leaflets. And the plant also has spines on it. Um, so if you have it in your garden and you're pruning it, you've got to be a little bit careful. Now, as the season goes on, these flowers will produce a fruit that is a pea pod, and it will turn black and burst open and have these very pretty red seeds inside of it. Now that red is a warning, uh, they are poisonous, okay? So if you have kids or pets around, you may want to avoid having this in your landscaping, but it makes an absolutely beautiful uh, addition to a garden uh, because of this beautiful pop of color. This plant is, depending on where you are, uh, deciduous or a perennial. You can see this brown stem right there. That is last year's growth. So if it freezes, the top part of the plant will freeze back and then it will re-sprout from the roots and basically grow a new plant. Uh, but if it's very mild, the above ground part may stay alive and you can actually prune it um, as sort of a shrub but it can get up to six feet tall, depending on the conditions. Tolerates a wide range from part shade to sunny and moist to dry, but it does like well-drained soils and actually tolerates salt fairly well. So uh, very versatile in the landscape and of course a beautiful wildlife plant.